Hey guys, it's Mark Co for the 8th of April. Just wanted to show you the production or at least the uh, trade setups for today as we're keeping track of all of our shorter term stuff now. You for um, for all of our Twitter, we're, we're having a new service we offer where you can just subscribe to the Twitter feed just to get the trade setups. So I want to walk you through some of those and just show you um, the last couple weeks and show you kind of what we're sitting in now. And I'll just give you a kind of a little indication. This is all the short term 30 minute stuff. Um, it's had some great weeks. E minis made some good money. Crude oils made some good money. Let's kind of fast forward to today. We actually paid a stop in crude oil, cost us 13 ticks. Um, $25 in euro dollar with a, a two tick loss and a little bit of spread. Uh, we said open long pounds, we said open long dollar yen. So I'm going to walk you through those trades. Those are all from Monday and just show you what we have. So we have um, euro dollar is long biased. The only trade signals we're interested in are trades to the long side. We get long signal here, 1264. Um, it then exits at 1262. So it basically you lose a little more than the spread, but it cost uh, $25 per per standard lot. That's kind of how I'm tracking it. Either one contract pricing in the futures or one standard lot in FX. So kind of um, not much going on there. $25 loss in euro dollar. Pound dollar sitting with an open trade. So pound is sitting open long and um, anybody who listens to me knows we have had a long focus down on edges down near 130. This signal comes in at 30.59. Currently we're trading 30.67, so about eight ticks in the money, so $80. So just to kind of total up for you, crude oil down 130, euro dollar down 25. That's a net of negative 155. Now we're looking at an open trade that's up uh, about eight ticks as I speak. So. $80 to the good, taking away a chunk of uh, down 155 to the negative. Not a huge P&L day right there. Um, finally, dollar yen, and what you'll see here in dollar yen, dollar yen is long signal as well. So 111.39 stops are really manageable here. Stops were just going to be right under 125, which was support number one. Uh, we traded to a low of 28 early in the U.S. session. Dollar yen is also open, uh, 13 ticks in the money, so not quite $130, but uh, you know, approaching $120 profit. So that puts you actually positive on the day. Um, again, with a very marginal day, the one, the one big mover, which we were positioned on the wrong side of early in the U.S. session, um, we came in with a short bias, uh, short bias sell signal here in crude oil on our 30 minutes, and uh, promptly paid a stop. Uh, to drop 13 ticks, and that was the uh, that was the big loser on the day. 13 ticks or $130 per contract. So we were sellers at the best level. It just didn't hold. Um, that will happen. It was a counter trend short. We know the trend has been to the buy side. Uh, there are some of you that will look and say, "Well, you clearly should have been a buyer." Listen, I follow the methodology, I follow the strategy, and I live with the consequences, and I live with what works out well. So. I am uh, more than happy to take this and understand that it's a small little dent in an otherwise very productive period. So no issues with that. But that was the uh, negative trade in the day. So we were sellers at top edge. Top edge did not hold. The long bias continues, or let's say the uh, long trend continues, and uh, a very manageable position there in crude oil. We didn't have anything in um, E-minis in terms of signals during U.S. session. Uh, E-minis are approaching, as I say this, you know, it's 3 o'clock on the East Coast as I'm recording this video, but there were no signals in the E-mini, so we will remain uh, toward late U.S. afternoon. It will remain uh, with a buy signal, so long of the pound dollar, and it will remain with a uh, long signal in dollar yen. So those would be the two open signals currently, uh, both euro closed, and euro could re-enter later on this evening, but for right now it's it's currently flat and um, crude oil took a 13 tick loss so not likely to get another crude oil indication this afternoon and we'll uh, we'll look at it again tomorrow so again you know, it feels like not a very good day but you're still sitting there green P&L with the uh, two open trades so we can handle that and uh, look forward to a you know a better um, better follow through in the rest of the week so for Monday cheers guys and we'll chat with you soon